Welcome back, everybody, to Pokemon Snakewood. We're currently on episode 22. Uh, if you did not check out the last episode, go ahead, go check it out. I'll give you a second. Go back and check it out. Did you check it out? Cool. Awesome. So, uh, that's how we got to the camp. Ain't that exciting stuff. <laughs> so, uh, I'm, I'm catching this one. I'm, they're getting higher up in level. They're getting higher up in level, and I want one where I have to train as little as possible. So yeah, if you didn't, if if you weren't aware, which you should have checked out the last episode before watching this one, I gave you a, I gave you a quick second. <laughs> um, I call it trap inch, uh, in the last episode. Um, but it was at level 24, and I don't want to go through the whole training thing again, so I'm gonna catch this one. I'm not going to get rid of the other one, but I'm going to keep this one. Never know, I might want two Flygons. Just have a whole army of Flygons. Trap Pitch, yes. Uh, I will name you... Uh, 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 uh. Neptune. You're not even a water type. You're Neptune, land of the s sand. <laughs> Another broken heart. Oops. <gasps> a sand shrew. I don't want that. I don't know why, but in like anything like Gen 3 or 4, like, and before that. Sandshrew, like, never learned anything good. They really screwed Voltorb over like that, too. A strong scent of powerful magic is coming from beyond. It would be unwise to go further, I think. I found a raisin. So, I, uh, oh, cool. So, I just, uh, just to kind of get off track here for a second, um, along with me, uh, I can't even go any further with that. So, in the last episode, I mentioned that I was watch or that I was playing Pokemon Clover. Um, uh, along with that, uh, I started, I watched a full season of, uh, Back in 2003, 2004, they came out with a series called Clone High. Okay, hold on. Uh, put Clone High on hold. Uh, here we go again. It isn't so painful this time. Man. Oh, this is bad. Fine, it's okay. Thank goodness, we have to get out of here. The ceiling is collapsing. What? That was way longer than any other flashback I've had so far. Where was I? Why was Alicia helping me? I guess the only answer is lie with that guy up there on the hill. Famine, I'm coming to get you. Cool. The chef roared out a challenge. Okay. But, yeah, so... I started watching this series called Clone High. And, uh... It absolutely has me cracking up. And I'm looking, they're apparently doing a remake of it on HBO Max, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. But there was an episode where they were doing, like, drug awareness, and, uh, they had, uh, they had all the characters there smoking raisins. <laughs> and I'm, I was flabbergasted. I'm like, wow. Smoking raisins. <laughs> yeah, they had Gandhi going on some kind of psychedelic trip. Oh my god. So yeah, if you guys don't know what Clone High is, it's... I mean, the theme song of it is pretty clear-cut. Um, it's that in the 80s, uh, a bunch of tombs were raided by a bunch of government officials. 
uh, they took the DNA of famous, uh, of famous like celebrities or you know people in history, and they made, um, and they brought them all in and turned them like gave them a life, like gave them a second chance as like a clone. So it's like. You got Abraham Lincoln, you got JFK, Gandhi, Joan of Arc, Jesus Christ, uh, Julius Caesar, uh, Marie Curie, who else was there? Um, uh, Cleopatra, that was, the, that was one of the other ones. So it's like they took all of them and just threw them in, you know, made them all go to the same school and everything. Uh, and uh, the government was gonna raise them for some kind of future thing or something. It only went one season. But... But I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Just cause they're a bunch of teenagers and they're all just trying to pretty much bang each other. So that's uh, that same episode, the one with the raisins. Uh, that's the one where JFK goes off to meet up with that guy that sells raisins, and uh, and the guy's all talking funny and everything like that. And JFK goes, "I like your funny words, Magic Man." <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I was always wondering where that meme came from, and then when I saw that happen, I'm like, it was like the, uh, it was like that meme with Leonardo DiCaprio where he's in the chair and he's holding a drink and he's pointing, like, looking real all confused and shit. Uh, oh, we got more dialogue, hold on. Uh, who's this then? This is Matt, sir, the one who's been causing so much trouble. I see, you must be the one who defeated my sister and ruined our demon invasion in the West. If you don't mind me saying, you look very familiar. Have we met? I don't know. I lost my memory when you guys destroyed my town. Who are you? What do you want? And where's my brother and May? Oh, so many questions. It really is you. I never thought you'd survive that attack. As for your brother, well, you came to the right place. He was here once. He discovered my little pet and would have defeated it had he not had we not captured him and his friend in time. Uh, you always were funny when angry. Lord Gravitrick. Always used to like to say so. Uh, I've had enough of this. Alicia, destroy him. Bye, Famine. Sorry, Matt, but the orders are orders. But yeah, I was like that meme with Leonardo DiCaprio where it was pointing when you realize something. Like, I get it! I got it! It's right there! No, you suck. But yeah, I would highly recommend going over and watching the Clone High. It's not for kids. Uh, they showed it on MTV, 2003-2004 uh, time frame. What is a save life problem? So, but yeah, that was when they were back showing like Beavis and Butthead and shit on MTV too. So I mean, you know, it was. Yeah, it was in the time frame when they were slowly getting out of music and trying to find other, uh, other paths to take. They, uh, yeah, they slowly got out of music and went into reality TV, making 16 and Pregnant, Teen Mom, and all that stuff popular, which absolutely was a shit show. But yeah, then they brought along Beavis and Butthead and Clone High. Took out Headbanger's Ball for, you know, Beverly Hills Moms or something stupid. Yeah. I still like that meme. I think it was, uh, it said, MTV just turned 40 years old today. Thanks, <laughs> Thank you for 13 years of great music. <laughs> This MTV back when it was good. 
being home from school all day, watching music videos and stupid crap on MTV. That was a life. Watching Jackass and Viva La Bam. Yeah. Uh, do I have anything? I don't. I don't have anything I can take that down. Change it up. I really need. I really need to go get uh, Neptune. Because I'm sure Neptune has bite. Why does this Bayonet have karate chops? <laughs> what? That doesn't even make sense. Swap back to Grump. It's ice dark, so Grump should take it out no problem if he's fast enough. What about Grump? Well, that won't kill him. Nah, he'll eat that. Yeah. Well, I already beat Pestilence, right? Or did I not? I ran into Pestilence. I don't think I... Yeah, I did beat Pestilence already. Yeah. Yeah, Pestilence was the one that had the Grimer and the other stupid nasty crap. Faster than Dusk All. Alright. I was certain it was gonna be faster, with it being eight levels higher. Oh, damn it. Come on, Fridge. That's not good either. How much is that going to do? Okay. No, I'll eat that. No, I won't. That confuse ray is not, not helping out at all. Uh, zombie liver, sure. Here, take it. Well, I would like to get have Fridge do one other attack other than Thunder Wave. Oh, don't hit yourself. Every single time I had a chance to hit this thing. Fridge just said, screw it, and just smacked himself in the face. Right when it doesn't matter. Right when it does not matter. Why am I trying to learn Thundershock again? No! Uh, I knew it. You always were better than me. What is all this? Why does everyone know me? Who are you, really? Perhaps I'll tell you after all. 
I don't know. I need to think about this. We've all worked so hard to make this attack real. Okay, bye, I guess. Every time I meet anyone, there are just more mysteries piling up. I have to get to the bottom of this by my brother, and for that, I need to find Famine and Alicia. Oh, okay. Uh, your Pokemon's tracker cut out for a while, a couple of hours ago, so I got worried. What happened? I was underground, very deep underground. There were madmen, and it were the jade. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, what's happening now? I'm in the desert, where my brother supposedly discovered something. I've just met Famine of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse and that Alicia woman. I see. I tell you to keep searching, but I have a request. Uh, I've been contacted by the good people of the Mountain Monastery. Oh, what? Oh, you've lost your memory, right? The, uh, the monastery was built on the site of Lava Ridge Town, after Lava Ridge was destroyed by a volcanic eruption. Anyway, go there and tell a guy called Sage Kanzaki that I sent you. Okay then, what's this about, by the way? All in good time, Matt. Don't worry. It shouldn't be anything you can't handle. You suck. What the hell is that? That guy's training something. Okay, well, care to battle? I need to build up my strength so I can get past those chefs in the desert. I mean, you're gonna lose, dude. We're on the same team, damn it. Really ain't getting nowhere with that thing. Go oh, fridge. Uh oh. Oh, that now that should do nothing. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, we're good. Yeah, Seafree's got this. Damn, this didn't help at all. No, I told you it wasn't. Oh my god. So I'm strong enough to get to Doofer. Doofer. This is why I'm going to replace Swallow. You suck and you should feel bad. Alright. No defense boost, that's good. Quad week, you're gone. Alright. Yeah, Fridge should have one more level. And then he evolves. Cool. 
what is it, another frost demon? Yep. Rakor. I can't remember if it's ice right now or not. But I need health, so that's why. More for me to take, I guess. like to make it to the next town. That didn't help me on whether it was ice type or not. Like a dream come true. Yeah! Damn right it did. Now it's even more useful. Just needs better moves. In here, what's the story behind this place? Oh, damn it. Volcano just froze over. Like, what gives? Got a sneasel. I don't know how to evolve it in this game, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Monsters down in the desert, back through the frigid way. Oh, 
Oh, I can hop over. Anything over here? I know, I am so sick and tired of seeing these stupid things. Yeah, if I could get something other than a hombone, I think I'll be happy. You wish to battle me. I don't, because you approached me instead. What the hell are you? Why Sage told Baltoy to explode? I was waiting for it. Take the experience here off, uh, what's his face? Say about that, you loser. That's it. Just mm. Shakya Monastery. All right, let's check out this trap pinch. One's got green char. One's got a volcano pot. Uh, hyper hyper cutter one's got arena trap yeah oh ah, we're in the same two right. get rid of zaga yep, loser all right what is volcano pot Hold item that raises the power of ground type moves. Oh, okay. Well, then you can keep that. Absolutely. And it's got bite and faint attack. Just awesome. Alright, so we made it to the next town. I don't want to talk to the next people. Uh, all for the main reason that. Um, all for the main. Yeah, I don't want to talk to any people here for the main reason that um, I want to know what's going on in the next episode. Uh, so, uh, so I'm gonna end the episode off here. I hope you got. Oh, let me save it. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, I've always said, and I will forever and always keep saying. It helps me. It helps you because you get free content, and I get to know what you guys enjoy. So, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. You know, whether you liked it or hated it, or what your favorite part was, or anything like that. Uh, and I, I look forward to reading your comments, and I will see you all in the next episode.